Welcome to Around the Armstrong Table. Today I got a special guest with me. It's my daughter, Kenzie. It's draft day. What are we cooking today? Chicken wings and hamburger sliders. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. All right, y'all, enjoy the show. Alright guys, so first what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the sliders, okay? So I'm going to get some onions diced up, I'm going to get the onions diced up real fine. And what I want to do is get them in my cast iron skillet. I'm going to get them cooking. not going to get too much color on them, just want to get them rendered down a little bit to where they're about translucent and they're a little bit softer, okay? Once I have that done, um, I added a little bit of seasoning to those, some salt, pepper, and some garlic. I'm gonna bring in my ground beef. So for this recipe, I'm using 80-20 ground beef. Got my fire on about a medium high heat. And what you wanna do is just basically get the ground beef all crumbled up. So it's a little bit of a, a different version uh, instead of it being like a traditional slider because I'm gonna put the meat on some King's Hawaiian rolls and I don't have to say anything else after that. <laughs> So what you want to do is you want to get the meat cooked down and you want to get it browned up. Make sure we season it up, of course, using the same seasoning, garlic, uh, salt and pepper, some garlic powder. And what you want to do is just let that cook and let everything just brown up. It's going to be perfect for this dish. Uh, as the meat continues to cook, you'll, you'll see how um, that fat starts to render up. So like I said earlier, you want to make sure we render take some of the fat out because we don't want to put all of that on the burger um, there's no need to do that so I made sure I drain that before I actually put that on the sandwich but I'm telling you I mean it doesn't look that good right now but that's what we're looking for we start to see some of those little brown bits and um, again we're going to continue to make sure we season this up and keep all that flavor so I added just a pinch of some Cajun seasoning on this I didn't want to do it too much because again as you see my daughter has to eat this <laughs> so don't want to make it too spicy so we're keeping these real real simple it's just going to be the meat mixture some cheese and let the king's wine roll shine um, we'll take these guys and put them in the oven once they're done and it's only going to go in the oven for probably five to seven minutes so it's a real real short short process after we get all everything put together so I'm getting my meat on the bun I already sliced it in half okay and as you can see I'm trying to do this as quickly as I possibly can and once it all comes together you'll see we'll put that white American cheese on there and uh, the cheese is it's already melting before we even put it into the oven so you want to put this in your oven um, at 350 degrees, like I said, for five to seven minutes. So make sure you preheat your oven because it'll be a quick process. So also what I want to do before I put them in the oven, I'm going to melt a little bit of butter and I'm going to take some garlic paste. Okay, I'm just going to put that in my microwave for about a minute. And we're going to spread this over the buns uh, before we get it into the oven. So I've already put it in my microwave, got it melted, ready to go. and. I mean, that looks good right there. So come on, look at that. This is exactly what you want, guys. So we'll get those cooking, and we'll get them in the oven, and then we'll put them aside, okay? Then it's gonna be on to the wings. All right, guys, so the sliders are now done. We're on to the wings. So we're gonna be doing two different types of wings. Uh, the wings were actually inspired by an Asian restaurant that I like to go to to get sushi. They have a spicy garlic edamame that I like. So I'm gonna take those same flavors and, and seasonings and I actually add them to the wings. And then I'm also gonna be doing a Parmesan version of the wings as well. So stay tuned for that and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. So let's get these wings prepped. So first what I'm gonna do, I got the full wing intact. Um, and if you guys know when you cook, there's a joint that comes in on the wings to cut them up, okay? So you wanna take that and 
typically they'll, they'll come right off. And sometimes you gotta apply a little bit of pressure. It doesn't go through right away. But this, these are, are, are real easy to cut through. Should be no problem. If you have a sharp knife, it'll be easy to cut these through, okay? So once you get them all ready, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lightly season these with salt, pepper, and garlic, okay? And then of course, my favorite device to use or our favorite utensil to use is my air fryer. So I'm gonna get the air fryer going and have that ready to go. So that's how we're gonna apply. That's how we're gonna cook these. And really it's only gonna take about 20 minutes to cook these. You can flip them in between if you want to once you get to the 10 minute mark, but you really don't have to. Um, the air fryer does all the work for you and makes it easy. And if you think about it, it's a little bit healthier than frying them in oil. So that's the nice part about it. So I'm gonna get these into the air fryer and then get these bad boys cooked off. Like I said, it won't take long. I'm gonna cook them in batches, obviously, because I don't wanna put them over top of each other and um, get them ready, put them in the air fryer, and they'll be good to go. So as you see, 20 minutes and they'll be all set. So what I'd like to do, I'm gonna take these guys and flip them, okay? So you'll see me flip them over. Uh, we're at right at about that 10 minute mark and That'll make sure that they get evenly cooked on both sides. Again, typically, you really don't have to do that with the air fryer because it's going to cook everything since it's a convection um, with that heat circulating around it. But it's just nice to do it, I think, just to go ahead and flip them over just to make sure that you get that even brown uh, coating on each side. See, some of these wings are a little bit stubborn when I try to flip them. Look at that. I am struggling, man, but that's all right. Keep, keep the train rolling. So now I'm on to my sauce, which is the Asian sauce that I talked about just a brief minute ago. This sauce is gonna have some garlic in it. So I'm gonna cut up the garlic and I'm gonna get that in my wok, okay? Uh, first, I'm gonna get some melted butter in there. And what you wanna do with this, you wanna turn your wok up pretty high, but let's get the butter melted first. And then as soon as that butter melts, we're gonna throw the garlic in. Because this process goes extremely quickly, okay? And the last thing you want to do is burn the garlic before you actually cook it. Um, so, you see the butter, it's going to have that little bit of brown color to it. Now I'm going to throw the garlic in. And what I did was I made a, a chili salt, okay? And what that salt just consists of is literally chili, chili powder and regular fine salt. Um, so I just mix the two together just to make a little chili salt. So I'll get the chili salt in there, just a little bit, okay? And I tried to find some Asian um, chili salt, but I couldn't find any, so I just made my own version of it. Uh, so I'll put that in there. And then we're also gonna get some crushed red pepper flakes as well. Uh, so we want the, the spice from that. And I'm telling you, if you ever had the uh, uh, spicy garlic edamame it is absolutely delicious so I put some chili oil in there and obviously you can see the theme of chili and then the next ingredient that we're gonna have is some soy sauce okay so with all of those ingredients and we're just gonna mix this up just a little bit once the soy sauce get in there you'll see how the color changes just a little bit and the sauce is done at that point so after that it's, it's right on time because my air fryer should be right at about the one minute mark or so as the sauce is cooking. So we'll go ahead and grab those wings and take them out of the air fryer and toss them in this delicious sauce. But this is a quick, simple way to, I guess you could say, put a little Asian flair on some regular wings. So now that the wings are done, get those guys out and I'm gonna get them tossed in the sauce, okay? So that's what we wanna do. I'm only taking half of them because the other half I'm going to use for the, for the Parmesan wings. So, got the wings in there. And like I said, we're just going to get them tossed in there for just a minute. We don't need them in there long. The wings are already cooked. The sauce is already done. And I don't want to burn the garlic. So, we'll get the wings put aside. I'm going to add in some, some chives just for color. And I'll get those put to the side. Then we'll get to the second wings. But... Man, look, look how good that looks. I mean, 
you can't go wrong. I'm telling you. As they're going on the plate, I want to eat all of them. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. They got a nice color to them. And the flavor and the smell right now in my kitchen is unbelievable. Uh, I, I'm at a loss for words. Just the, the smell of it. But these are absolutely perfect. And you can cook these for football season. Of course, we talked about the NFL draft being tonight. Um... And, or basketball, whatever night. You need. If you're just hungry for some wings, these would be a nice treat for you and your family. And if your kids like a little bit of spice, they might eat it as well. So, like I said, put that color on there. And now what we're gonna do is we'll get to the Parmesan wings. Now these I made a little bit different. Um, so what I did was I grated up some fresh Parmesan and I like to have the Parmesan really, really cold because I don't want them to melt. I, want, I don't want the Parmesan to melt too much once I apply it to the wings. I just want to have that, especially grating your Parmesan uh, fresh like this. So I went ahead and added some butter to another uh, little container with some lemon pepper. Okay, And again, I'm going to put that in my microwave for just about a minute and melt that butter. And then what we're going to do is I'm gonna take that melted butter, apply it to the other wings, okay? So I'll get those wings in there, and I mean, enough said, it's pretty simple. So get the wings tossed with the butter, and then you're gonna throw in the Parmesan right behind that. So once we got the wings in there with the butter, and then like I said, we're gonna toss that Parmesan cheese in there. All we're gonna do is toss these guys real quick, and once we toss them, what we'll do is we'll get them on a plate and get everything ready to be eaten. So I'm doing some chives with these guys as well, but um, these are done. So I'm just going to get them plated up, okay? A little bit easier. And my cheese wasn't quite cold enough, so as you can see, it did clump up a little bit. But in the future, if you guys, when you make this, uh, this dish and that, that particular sauce to go on top of with butter and the parmesan you know make sure your cheese is real real cold the other option is obviously you can do use the other um cheese that comes into the little um little container but i'm telling you everything is all set to go and man look look at the, the nice draft day feast we're gonna have so the hawaiian rolls and those, those sliders i had to go ahead and cut one off and, and take a bite for myself but everything just looks absolutely delicious. Um, at this time, I want to ask you guys to please like and subscribe to the channel. I thank you so much for all the support. We're on the road to a thousand by the end of the year. That's the goal to grow this channel and to keep cooking. I love ideas and suggestions. So appreciate everybody. And we'll be on to the next one. But thank you. Mm.